How's it going everybody? It is Koa Salas here. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Excuse my voice a little bit, I'm still recovering from a sickness, uh, but which, by the way, did not stop me from making videos or hosting streams, so that was good at least. And I think just my voice sounds a little more sexy. That was weird. <laughs> anyway, um, today we will be taking a look at Thrall. I have come up with a build that's kind of like a theory craft. It didn't work before, I don't know what would make it work now, maybe the meta, maybe the switch in the meta, but uh, re recently the seasoned marksman, uh, the limit off of that was lifted, um, so you can actually get unlimited stacks as long as you stay in lane, plus there were changes to Earthquake and of course Thunder to kind of balance them, a uh, balance them out a little bit. Uh, now it actually depends on the player, depends on the playstyle, depends on the map, depends on the opposition what you're gonna take so today we're gonna go for an auto attack build with with throw with earthquake so we're gonna see how that goes like if if you'd hear, hear me say that about a few months back you would just laugh me out of the room but today it's my reality All right, boys and grills, we find ourselves on the Infernal Arena. No, it's actually Infernal Shrines today, boys. On level one, we're gonna go for Seasoned Marksman, which was, by the way, again, the, the limit off of it was nerfed. Uh, well, actually, it was buffed because it was just removed. Um, so, what it does now, you collect stacks by killing enemy minions. So. Every minion killed near you grants 0.2 attack damage and takedowns grant 0.5 attack damage. Okay, upon getting bonus um, 40, uh, 40 stacks, <coughs> uh, 40 attack damage, which is 5 minions, 5 times 100 minions. After you kill 100 minions, you will be getting... Um, also, this activatable ability, which is for, uh, which is actually for three seconds, forty percent increased attack speed. It used to be thirty, um, so again, that was buffed as well. Uh, we're gonna see if we can actually stack up pretty easily to that. Um, I'm not gonna brawl in the middle. I want to get stacks, bro. Etc. Dead. Damn. Man. Um, so, the, so the ability behind this, like the idea behind this build, is honestly so is to deal as much or attack damage as I can but also stay alive so one of the talents is going actually gonna go into survivability it might not seem like it but it will um, so there you go there's one attack damage so far I, I don't want to get ganked though yeah like this guy I'm fine I'm fine but <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a lot of damage I'm going to have to stay close enough so I can... Yeah, bro. I'm still gaining attack damage. By the way, our Q ability is called Chain Lightning. I I basically throw out an enemy and then it bounces a few times dealing damage to uh, I think 50% yeah I have that amount so uh, basically it's gonna deal 200 damage right now to to one enemy and then uh, it's also going to deal a hundred damage to um, just just people with bounces to our W ability is called feral actually I think it's just bounces two times so and then on this level, we're going to increase it to give us a little bit more survivability. I'm going to root her here. Uh, all, of her, all of our focus is going to go to Zarya, which is honestly what is supposed to be happening. Uh, what is just focusing one target is better than splitting our focus. Um, I can't. I don't think I can solo Ill Illidan right now. Oh, gotcha, bitch. Get outplayed, bruh. Get outplayed. <laughs> I'm gonna stay in lane because I want to. I want to stack up. Like I would just go to a different lane now, but I'm not going to because the, like the enemy team is just like you can't really say what they're gonna do. But I think they should be fine. Our, our variant is still bottom. 
Actually, I'll, I'll get these stacks though. Please, give me, give me those stacks, bro. Um, yeah, so that ability is called is called Feral Wolf. I actually used it there to root enemy Illidan. And um, what it does, it kind of shoots out this projectile in front of me, uh, which is a wolf. Okay, I mean. Uh, shoots out this wolf in front of me, which uh, if it hits, it actually roots an enemy and also um, Got him and also it deals damage and roots an enemy for one second I'm gonna keep keep splitting my damage keep um, Keep on stacking here. We are we are already on 12 stacks, which actually if we don't if we actually make this game last a little bit longer hi um, I might be able to stack. So, right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna get the fuck out. I don't want. I want. I want this game to last for a little bit. You know what I mean? We're we gonna go for winch here at this level range. What it's gonna do is gonna reduce the cooldown on my E ability. My E ability will basically give me 30% movement speed for three basic attacks. What the fuck am I talking about? For a few seconds. For how many seconds? For four seconds and 30% increased movement speed. And also what it's going to do for me uh, is going to make my next three basic attacks up, um, occur 100% faster. And then we have our Frost Wolf Resilience at uh, level, uh, not at level, but in my other trait. Uh, here, here comes the root, here comes the root. Okay, okay. Howdy boys, I'm howdy. <clears throat> what it does is when I deal damage with my ability, um, it gives me a stack of uh, Wolf Resilience. Frostwolf Resilience. Um, after I gain five five of those stacks, I'm gonna get a huge burst heal. Uh, actually, it's actually 412 health now. It's actually a lot of health. You can see that's like a fifth of our health with just one one of those. We did uh, go for the um, ride like light, lightning. Uh, yeah, ride the lightning. It gives us two additional um, targets for our Q. So it it, it doesn't. It, so basically what it does now, every single every single time I press my Q and there's enough targets, um, I will be getting, uh, I don't know what they're fighting for, I mean they just want to brawl, it's, it's just brawl, okay that's fine. <laughs> um, so every single um, time I press my Q and there's enough enemies, I'll be basically getting a full Frost Wolf Resilience out of that. Which obviously is just really strong, like if you can get that heal every every. Um, every single Q, and it's only on a six second cooldown. Plus, also you'll be getting other uh, other abilities here. Which is dead. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Honestly, I, I I don't even have to be here. Like they can just do it by themselves. Uh, two enemies are just dead now, um, and I can just stack. I need to stack, boys. I need stacks too, bro. He thinks he's alone up here. All right, let's let's help the enemy team. Looks like um, the the enemy Elon is kind of circling. I'm trying to uh, attach my Q. Like Q to Elden is just such a pain, just because it's ability damage. He cannot. Okay, they go in, I guess. Holy shit, Paul! <laughs> Got wrecked. I didn't even use my my new ultimate, which is called Earthquake. We picked up on level ten. We picked up Earthquake. Okay, okay, chill, chill, chill. I'm not, uh, like, I mean, he puts some, he, he, uh, Sergeant Hammer, enemy Sergeant Hammer puts some mines there, I'm just not even gonna walk there. Um, so... Oh, she's dead as fuck. Well, just, this enemy team is just not putting any fight, holy shit. This is bad. <laughs> Guys, I wanted, I wanted a game, not a stomp. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so what it does in this huge area around us, it's going to slow everybody four times. Um, four times, uh, every single time for 70% for like, how many seconds? For two seconds. So uh, one pulse will um, will basically happen every two seconds. I'm going to go top. Because I need the stacks of Renos. Um, so summon a massive earthquake that pulses every two seconds. Each player... Is, uh, each pulse slows all enemies um, in the area by 70% and deals 80% da 80 damage to enemy heroes. The actual so what was actually added? The damage was added. So now it actually will deal damage. And why is that important? Well, 
is going to proc your Frost Wolf Resilience. So every single enemy that is hit by your Earthquake will be giving you a Frost Wolf Resilience stack. It gives Thrall just a crazy, like immense power, um, which which uh, he can just use to um, to abuse his enemies. Uh, it gives him increases in, in just incredible sustain in the lane. In I mean, not in the lane, but in the team fight, it's just crazy how much it gives him. We're gonna go for Grace of Air on this low range, I believe. It's gonna give me double the stacks of Frostal for Zinzi. Yeah, that seems legit. Actually, Jankler is also good here, but they don't, they don't have a tank, do they? But they have, they have Zarya and Varian, but Varian, what did Varian go for? Varian went for... he went for Colossus Smash. Yeah, somebody go go great over there. It looks like we are, we are actually cut out a little bit out of position here. Um, where is he going? All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna chase that. I'm not gonna chase that. I think I, I I could definitely kill him, but he has a parry, which could just nullify all the damage that, that's coming from um, um from my wind fury. So we, on with this build, we're gonna be trying to focus on the the wind fury on the wind fury ability, wind fury ability, and stacking our basic attacks with um stacking our basic attacks with you know with just a season marksman right we are sitting at 31 stacks we were very close to finishing the the object the the actual um no objective but quest you can say uh 32 stacks now um the top lane is kind of pushed off so i'm not going to be getting too much out of that so i'm gonna move up here and we we want the enemy to bring the fight to us I mean, we're doing the objective. You know, we 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 just chilling. Okay, Summer's behind us. Let's focus down this copy so it doesn't deal any any damage, any, any more damage at least. Again, Varian's just circling, he's circling, he's circling around. He's trying to, uh, I think, go to onto our backline, which I'm not gonna allow him to do. I'm gonna activate my my earthquake right here, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna go home on, on on those bridges. This guy's burst it down. One, two, three. He's dead. And you can see how how powerful that is. Just, just that slow. It's so powerful. Just the enemy team cannot do a single thing. Like they're 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 almost as good as rooted. <clears throat> Um, this is very good against hard engage. Very good against uh, just almost in any situ any scenario, honestly. Uh, I need to stack up, boys. I need to stack up. I, I need to show you guys how quickly uh, Thrall can attack with the uh, season marks. Well, I've actually tried this build before, um, but it was a long time ago. So I wanted to kind of, kind of maybe um, archive this this this, this progress. Uh, on this range, we are going to go for Tempest Fury. So the f if I hit the final strike, the the three, uh, the, the, there's, there's going to be three strikes uh, basically, uh, like, which will be ability damage, but they will scale off of my basic attacks. This is actually very risky. I'm gonna go. Oh my god! A god mush pit will secure us a couple here here a couple kills here. I'm gonna go into my wind fury try to secure the kills. We are able to do just that. It's gonna be a double kill to our friendly team. I think an enemy Samuro did make it out alive, um, which is unfortunate, but we can't do anything about it really. And we are sitting at 38 stacks. 39 now. Oh boy, so we're close. We're close to finishing the actual thing. Um yeah, so it, it just makes you really kind of Stuck to a lane, you, you, you know, we're actually getting a lot of kills, a shit ton of kills. There you go, there is a 40 stacks. Now we can actually activate to get the additional attack speed, uh, which is actually going to also scale with our Wind Fury, of course. Um, this area should be dead, I think. Just so much burst damage. When the third one hits, when the third um, Wind Fury hits, ex ag again, it's going to apply those three hits that are 75% of our basic attack damage. Every single hit. So, like, how cray cray is that? Uh, we'll, we'll just take that come for ourselves, Odin. There he comes an earthquake. And I, I just get 
health for days. Of course, we were like the enemy team was just outnumbered here, and again, just a slow doesn't allow him to doesn't doesn't allow him to escape, and just can't do a single thing. Guys, guys, we we just became a hero of the storm. Let's get the objective, boy, shall we? Well, I got the full stacks now, so the all the kills that I get now will be hundred percent additional. Like there will be just a, a bonus damage instead of me actually stacking to get this uh, this passive going. But I actually hit almost four hundred per hit now. How crazy is that? So enemies are coming in. Let's see how much damage we can actually do to her. I can do a lot. Of course, I'm four levels up, but. You know, um, yeah, it's still a lot of damage. I mean, she's a tank, right? And I didn't even pick up Jankula. Holy shit! So that's three hundred ninety-one per um, per stack now, uh, per auto attack now. That's crazy, boys. That's just crazy. Um, so I'm not sure if those three hits at the end will count for Windfield. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure about that. I guess we can we can check that out, right? Boom, boom. Yes, they will count as wind beauty. Oh boys, that's crazy, boys. That's crazy. I mean, this um, they're finishing the game. I don't want to. I don't want to finish the game. Guys, I wanted to have fun, and this is a 15-minute game when I, when I wanted to theory craft a good build. Guys, we just wrecking them. Let's back off. Let's back off. I don't want to win yet. I want to get the objective. Sorry I died. Yes, I got the objective, boys. Are you guys proud of me? I got the objective while the team is finishing the game. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, this is going to be game. <laughs> I didn't even get to level 20. We don't probably put, picked up Nexus Blaze at level 20. I was actually theory, theory crafting with the shields on Earthquake, but I don't think they're that good MVP. holy crap we just raped the we just raped the entire team the enemy team was just really bad I mean that's what quick match feels now after the Nexus challenge it's just really unbalanced teams really unbalanced teams thank you Jabber Tennis you were you were the one stuck in with me I got your back dog I got your back So, throw. Obviously, a very good pick now. Um, you know, auto attack, build fucking OP. Can't do anything about it. Of course, you know there are there are ways. I'm just joking right now, but there are ways to counter. You know, blind stuns, um, silences uh, is doesn't like, they do not allow you. Like silence is just such a huge um, counter to to throw, as he relies on his abilities to stay alive, to heal him, to stay alive. So silence are actually much more important than, I think, uh, than, than stuns on uh, Thrall. Of course, stuns is just a hard CC, he, he can't do anything. Uh, but silence is just honestly really huge. He can steal the damage with his basic attack, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to alleviate with this build. Kind of like if the enemy is very silence heavy, let's say they have monthly they have still manas. Both go, both go for silences, I can still hit hard. And I can still uh, be kind of threatening. Um, so our damage is not as big just because we stayed in lane most of the time, and that's that's also honestly is going to be your only drawback of this build. That you're gonna have to stay back in the lane a lot because you have to stack up your uh, your um, your season marksman to actually get value out of it, right? You have to get those forty stacks, and as we just calculated, how how many is it going to be? It's going to be five. Times. Actually, what am I talking about? Five them. It's gonna be two hundred minions instead of one hundred. It's yeah. So it's two hundred minions. I thought it was um, for some reason it was twenty bonus 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 damage. That's why I said it was a hundred. So yeah, it was um, a two hundred uh, attack damage. Uh, sorry, two hundred minions you have to kill. And of course, the takedowns will help you as well because you only have to get what like. Not only, but you have to get, wow, 80 takedowns to actually to finish it. Holy shit. That's a really long quest. 
of course you'll be you know it'll be kind of a mixture so in this game it was a mixture you know, we got 40 kills so it was actually kind of easier for me to to stack it but still you saw the enemy team like just because the enemy team was dead i was able to split away from the friendly team be in the lane and just get the stacks and just keep uh, keep steamrolling i very very like this build and i kind of want to go over what is my reasoning and how i choose the talents for this build um so Let's go over the build again. Actually, before I do that, let me say how Earthquake was um, was changed again. So on level ten, now you have it. Now you have two choices now, which are actually viable. Uh, Earthquake, what it does again, it slows people every two seconds for seventy percent. I think for one second, and it does three pulses. But also now it does damage, which will proc your frost of resilience, which again every single stack will will give you. A, Actually, five stacks is going to give you a very, very massive heal. Um, how Sundering was nerfed again? Like, Sunder was just nerfed and nerfed and nerfed. I think cooldown used to be 60 seconds, and it was for 1.5 seconds a stun. Uh, now it's actually a 1 second stun. It used to be 1.25 seconds stun. So now you actually have a choice. If there's uh, if the map is like choke, uh, choke point heavy or um, anything like that, you will go for Sundering. But if you need a lot of control on a certain point in a certain area, you're gonna go for earthquake almost the almost in the entire time. Let's go over the build again. Just kind of you know, like increase your damage on level one. You will go for season marksman. Season marksman is just crazy how um, how good it is. Like it unlocked so many characters. Rainer, like Rainer, go back into the meta. Like his. Uh, after the change of season marksman, his win rate went through the roof, and he's like 53% uh, Ranger, who's like the most basic of the basic assassins ever. It's crazy. Um, it actually enables a lot of heroes to do a little bit more than they than they're kind of used to. On level four, I, w I you know, the kind of good choice here would be to go for mana tide. Um, Frostal Vizirians also restores 15 mana. Not a lot. 15 mana, if you think about it, is pretty shitty. But considering you will proc it a lot, like a lot of the time when you actually your health is full, then it kind of becomes a little bit better. Um, still, the range on, on, on the Feral Spirit is not that good just because you still need time to close the gap to the enemy, right? So you root them with your um, with your W, um, or is it your E? No, it's your W, yeah, it is your W. So you press your W, and if this, for, let's say, for example, hits an enemy at 100% of its range, you're never getting to them in one second, never, ever. So again, it could secure some kills, it could make you, could make your, sorry, excuse me, your feral, feral spirit uh, like a snipe kind of thing where you can snipe people across the screen, but it's not really useful um, So rather than going for mana, I actually went for more survivability. How is chain lightning? How is increasing the amounts of um, Kind of bounces of the chain lightning uh, survivability? Well Again, it stacks your frostal of resilience. So now it hits two additional targets. Therefore it hits five targets therefore Every single Q, and when there's enough enemies, you will be um, basically proccing your Frost of Resilience, which is super good, you know. 6 second cooldown, like 500 heal almost at level 20, I think. Wait, so what's the actual number? That's level 1. 300 health is level 1. I think about level 12, we had a 421 heal or something like that. So it's pretty goddamn strong. On this upper range, we went for Wind Shear. Again, we're trying to increase our basic attack damage, and Wind Fury does that. The Wind Fury makes our three basic attacks occur 100% faster. Therefore, the damage from that ability will scale from our basic attacks. Therefore, I'm going to pick that up. I want to use it every single, like, 8 seconds out of 12. That's actually a huge deal. Um, now, we, uh, then we went for, uh, of course, Earthquake to kind of, again, to just get a shit ton of sustain um, and to also apply a lot of uh, CC to the enemy team on level 3. Do not ever, I think, pick this if you're behind. I think this is a winning ultimate. Like, if you're really behind. If you're like four levels behind, never use this, never use this talent. I'm recording, baby.
Um, so yeah, no, I don't think this is a winning. I don't think this is a ultimate that brings you back. A ultimate that brings you back is is hard CC, which is the Sundering. The Sundering is hard CC. It pushes the enemies and it just kind of like the CC is the share of them. It d doesn't just stun them. It displaces them, pushes them to the sides. It allows you to do so many plays. So if you're at the same level, maybe one level behind, um, or are you actually ahead? I would probably go for Earthquake almost every single time, just because it gives you the sustain. By the way, this this will give you the same as well, but only once. It gives you the sustain. It gives you the kind of a soft CC, but it's still there. Um, yeah, it's just really good. And it's actually for a long time. It's there for like six seconds or something. Um, so on level 13, I did go for um, the Grace of Air, which Wind Fury grants double Frostwolf resilience. But you can also go for Giant Killer. If you're facing like a single tank composition, which is like a, like a Muradin who went for Avatar or a Stitches or a Chogal, only if it's something like really bulky, really tanky, I would actually go for Giant Killer. But if it's not, I'm gonna probably go for Grace of Air, which Wind Fury grants double Frost Wolf Resilience. So, one, uh, so Wind Fury attacks grants twice as many stacks of Frost Wolf Resilience. Therefore, every single Wind Fury will grant you six stacks instead of three. You know, it kind of it's kind of a big deal. Again, every time you hit your Q, it's a it's a full heal. Every time it's, you hit your E, it's a heal now. So. You know, it, you, you can kind of see a pattern which I'm which I'm going with. <coughs> um, so it's do, dealing a lot of damage with your basic attacks while you sustain yourself with your abilities. Then we went for Tempest Fury, which again will proc your uh, Frost of Resilience, which we just found out. Um, the final strike of Wind Fury hits three times for 75% of the normal damage. So you're gonna hit normal three basic attacks, and then after the third one, you're gonna, they're gonna happen. Um, the final strike of Wind Fury has three times for. Okay, so what it does, it actually turns the third basic attack into an ability damage, but it's scaled off of the basic attack, which is crazy, right? Which is crazy. Again, if you scale up your basic attack, this damage is also going to scale. Plus, it's also going to be, give you additional, you know, additional stacks of, wind, of uh, frost of resilience. Blah 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 blah. Again, just kind of going with that flow, going with that theme. Level twenty. There are two choices here. I think you can go for Nexus Blades. You can go for both of the storm. Okay, of, again, Nexus Blades will just give you that additional damage, additional uh, CC. Uh, both of the storm is, I think, is great. I think it's really good uh, for Thrall because he sometimes he sometimes just needs to get out. And the only way he can do it without this is with his uh, movement speed from his E, which again is a kind of good, and we can do it much more with this build just because we we picked up the reduced uh, the reduced cooldown. But yeah, Bottle Storm is just sometimes necessary, and actually Earthen Shield is actually something very interesting that I was trying out, and I had. A little bit of success in it, but I still need to, to give it a little bit more try. I'm actually gonna go to Hot Stock see how the actual talent fares. I, want, I wonder if anybody even picks it. Um, but anyway, we might actually be making a separate entire video just to kind of showcase the, the old build, maybe with the new kind of, you know, Earthen Shield kind of build, maybe. Maybe. It's not actually guaranteed that we're gonna get to level 20. Anyway, guys. Thank you guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was somehow informational, somehow funny. Um, maybe you guys did not think of this build, maybe you didn't think of it as being viable and I just kind of brought it to you here and kind of explained it to you all. Uh, I know some people I on my streams actually like the way I, um, I explain stuff, so again, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap that like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.